The parents of a six-year-old child are threatening to sue their son's school after boys were allowed to come to class wearing dresses. Nigel and Sally Rowe have taken their son out of his Church of England primary school on the Isle of Wight because one of his classmates comes to school some days as a girl and others as a boy. They'd already decided to homeschool his eight-year-old brother because the same thing happened in his class. Duncan Kennedy reports. The school at the centre of this story on the Isle of Wight is not being identified to protect all the children involved, including the children of Nigel and Sally Rowe, the parents who've now withdrawn their six-year-old son. They say he was confused when another male pupil came to school wearing a dress. They say it's wrong to encourage very young children to embrace transgenderism and that it offends their Christian values. We want to protect our children and we want yeah. a good dialogue now about it so it's not just pushed into schools, accepted. We, we're concerned what the, you know, how that could influence other children. We, we, we don't know, as Sally said, what the full ramifications of that could be. It's just, it's just too young. Let children just be children. The Church of England school wrote to Mr and Mrs Rowe urging them to accept it when male pupils came to school in dresses. The school has the backing of the Diocese of Portsmouth, who say that Church of England schools are inclusive environments where pupils learn to respect diversity of all kinds. Among other things, this requires schools to accept the wishes of children and their families with regard to gender identity. Campaigners for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender rights say Mr and Mrs Rowe have misjudged this, as the children with gender issues need sympathy to avoid being bullied. I have a child who took a lot of bullying on my behalf and that bullying was exactly the same. It was parents saying we have a right to have an opinion and they told their children their opinion and having told their children their opinion their children thought it was open season on bullying my son. Mr and Mrs Rowe who are devout Christians here on the Isle of Wight say they have received lots of hate messages on social media but they say this is about parents' rights and those Christian values, both of which they now want tested in the courts. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, on the Isle of Wight.